You're watching The Isaiah Factor, Uncensored. And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Our new White House press secretary has, pretty, has a pretty impressive resume, stemming all the way back to President Obama's first run for president. Despite Karine Jean-Pierre's qualifications, a Russian state TV panel is saying she isn't fit for the job because she's black. It's a damn shame that people are still having these kinds of candid conversations, just out in your face. Our next panel will be discussing these commentators being fixated on her skin color instead of her actual job performance. Well, guys, what you have seen on Russian state TV would make the Ku Klux Klan proud. So much racism, so much homophobia, and it is accepted by the viewers there, or is it? But it's just a shame that way they would say so many ugly things about Corinne Jean-Pierre, who is now the uh, White House press secretary. So Todd, let's begin with you and seeing this ugliness on Russian state TV. I, I'm not surprised because I think Russia, we know Russia has a history of trying to sow discord in America. So I look at it like that. And I also look at it as, as they're, I, I look at them as they're, they have their job because they're afraid to do with a, what a real journalist would do, which would be hold journal, her politicians accountable, excuse me, and, and just look for tr truth. In Russia, we know that they have state-run media. Uh, the president can put out whatever he wants. So I look at a lot of those journalists as puppets. On the other hand, I look at Ms. Jean-Pierre as somebody who is overqualified. Um, Ivy League school educated. She's worked with various politicians from John Edwards to President Obama to Vice President Biden and now President Biden. So I look at it as somebody trying to sow discord in America. And they did that before 2016, 2020. And I think they're trying to do that in 2022. And I just hope a lot of people don't fall for it. And I, I hear a lot of people, when black people get jobs, they always look at the race factor or it must be affirmative action. If you think that way, then you have racist tendencies. And I will say this, I think a person of her background would have had this job a long time ago if it wasn't for racism, if it wasn't for sexism, if it wasn't for homophobia. So I think those things have kind of held those journalists down in the past. And now we're trying we're seeing a little bit more equity in uh, the White House and in journalism. You know, with all those credentials, Dr. Ruth, all they could say was she was hired because of her dark skin. I don't care why she was hired. She's got the job. She's qualified for the job. She should have had the job, like Todd said, a long time ago. And you know, I, this is great discussion. But why do we give a? Why do we care about what? Because we doing? need to no. challenge this kind of ugliness and racism wherever no. it is in this world, and we no, should not put up with right. it. You are absolutely right. I'm just saying that these people can't even cover a war that their own country is having. So clearly they are illegitimate. They have nothing to say about what we do uh, in our country, in our White House, how things are covered. They are, they're, they're, they're terrible. They're terrible. They're weak. Uh, they're scared of their own uh, uh, racist, murderous, president and they probably have good reason to be so yeah so I don't, I don't really care what they say but you're absolutely right they uh they are they're this is terrible and eric let's hear from you from your perspective sure so the way i look at it whenever someone's asked whether they're qualified i pull up the resume and i look at it and that's what i did i pulled up a resume she uh is a graduate she has a master's degree from columbia um you know she uh she is she's definitely qualified she's a national spokesperson for moveon.org, uh, campaign manager for a lot of different campaigns, taught at Columbia, um, campaign manager for the ACLU. Um, but it, I think if they were going to criticize her, they should say it might be cronyism, because I think you could argue that, because she did serve as chief of staff for Kamala Harris's presidential campaign and as senior uh, advisor for the Biden campaign. But if, is it something common used for press secretary? All the time. So that, that's, it's typically uh, whoever is the press secretary, someone that's close to the campaigns of uh, whoever is the president. Um, I think this, it's more of a diversionary tactic from uh, Russia to focus on something else besides their just blatant war crimes. I mean, we had a Russian soldier plead guilty to killing people. I think there's more problems with that. It kind of also sparks, you know, issues with media and media bias. I know we had it's a big problem in this country, and that might be why your 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 show does so well because seventy um, percent of people think 
media, the media organization is pushing some type of agenda, um, you'd be shocked. And this isn't some quack poll. This is from Gallup. Um, 69% of viewers are concerned about media being biased. And a whopping 40, or no, 52% of people think newscasters are intentionally misrepresenting facts. That's in the United States. It's not in Russia. I'm sure they're Russia. Their Russia TV is even more biased. Than they probably people. don't even get a poll in Russia. <laughs> it's like, here's what you think and shut your damn mouth. <laughs> That's right. I, I wouldn't doubt it. But ours isn't much. Ours is better, but not by much. We have more discussion on the way here on The Factor on Censored. And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. We continue our discussion on White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. She's the first black immigrant and openly gay woman to hold the job. Video of some Russian state TV commentators mocking her have gone viral saying she's too dark. The only reason she got the job is because she's black and because she's gay. One of my panelists told me there's a deeper reason as to why she was targeted. They're yeah. not a news media. They're just they're just puppets. Yeah, they are. You're being very kind to say that, yeah. but uh, I think this attack uh, on uh, on this woman is is disingenuous. Uh, it's designed to uh, you know sow discord, and unfortunately, I also think that it is going to play to a certain group of people yeah. in our country uh, who are have these same kind of tendencies that uh, these Russians have, so. But check this out, uh, Eric brought something about cronyism, which is true. She does have a foot in the door, but cronyism was the reason why a lot of African-Americans and Latinos and LGBT, that's why a lot of them didn't get these opportunities because we weren't in the door. Look at, you can go back to the uh, Kennedys. Would he have hired Robert Kennedy to be the Attorney General if that was not his brother? Cronyism, nepotism has always played a part society and for a lot of reasons that's why african americans and other minorities haven't gotten opportunities because we don't have family members and friends in those positions so we have to work extra hard so to say that race has something to do with it is disingenuous like dr ruth said and we look at journalists all the time black women as journalists face so much discrimination in the newsroom is pitiful so whenever i see a sister rise to those ranks i know she earned it because you have black women who might get fired because their hair is natural i've seen black women there's a a, a journalist out of dallas formerly out of dallas named demetria obelar we brought her here to houston at habj and you had a lot of viewers saying oh she's too thick uh you know because she was built like a stereotypical black woman her hair is this and that so and a lot of times a lot of black reporters say they can't cover stories that aren't about violence in the black community or racism. They can't cover the important stories on an international level. So to see this woman break this glass ceiling, she earned it. Sisters and brothers usually don't get those opportunities unless they earned it. And in 2022, she's the first black, the first woman, the first LGBT. We've even had a black president and a black vice president and we never had a black press secretary. So when people say it's because of race, no, I say it's because of race that she's the first because she probably should have been the 21st. But because of the fact that we have a darker hue, because we're not in those boardrooms, because we don't, we look at sports. A lot of times, a lot of black coaches, I don't want to get off topic, that a lot of black coaches don't get jobs in the NFL because they're not, owners and general managers aren't comfortable with black coaches. They're more comfortable with somebody who has less experience because they're friends with them or they hang out at the country club and stuff like that. So the fact that, like I said, the fact that she broke down this glass ceiling is indicative of how, sharp this sister is and the fact that she comes from these minority groups will allow her to assess the problems in this country in a different light because diversity is not just about um money or just about you know putting people of color in position it gives you a different perspective on the world that will help joe biden lead this country in a better way and right. so i want to, want to say this real quick that when a white male gets promoted it's because he has experience. Yeah. I kind of resent you saying that a black woman who has all this experience is a result of cronyism. And Eric, I, we'll I, let you respond to that before yeah. we wrap up. So I, yeah, and I think, I, I don't think I'm wrong in that position. Um, so, I, and I don't have anything, you know, I don't, I don't support cronyism. I think cronyism is wrong, but it's very common. The reason I said cronyism is based on the facts that she was uh, chief of staff for Kamala Harris's presidential campaign and also served as a senior advisor for the, the Biden campaign. That would that suggest like to me on those, on those facts, that she's definitely experienced. I'm not questioning that. 
I agreed with the experience. I went over the experience. But I think those two are indicators of cronyism. That's my personal opinion. All right. We want to thank you all for joining us here on the Factor Uncensored. And we appreciate your time tonight.